In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own design on Canva and then sell it on Printify. You can create design for various objects, but for today, I'm going to show you how you can create a design for a t-shirt and then insert it to Printify to be sold. And here is your blank canvas. As you can see, you're going to start off with a blank white page but if you would like to create something from the template, you can just scroll around on the left side menu over here. Just like I showed, there is a lot of t-shirt design templates that you can use. If you would like to use it instead, you can go ahead and click it and then you can change around whether it's the graphic, the pictures on it, or also the wordings. Canva actually have a lot of category for their design, as you can see. If you like your t-shirt to have pictures that looks just like fashion logos, circle logos or brand logos, you can go ahead and click on the categories that are written here. But today I'm going to go ahead and start from nothing and I'm going to create two designs. So I'm going to go ahead and click add page. And I would like my first design to have black as its background color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the page I intended to change the background color with and click on the color box on top of my screen and then change it to black. And I'm going to leave the second page blank white because I'm going to create another design with white background color. To start off, I'm going to click on this element menu over here and I'm going to search on frame because I would like my design to have a pictures on it and to make the pictures look nice, I am going to frame it with the available frame that Canva has. And here is the frame that I've chosen. I don't like it to be rectangle, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull the frame so that it is more rectangular rather than shape. And I'm going to adjust it so that it's going to be in the middle of my design. And here it is. Now that I already inserted my frame, I would like to input my pictures into the design. And to do that, you can go ahead and click upload and then click upload files to insert your pictures to your Canva. Here are the pictures that I've inserted and for the first pictures, I'm going to use this sky full of stars pictures from my black design. To insert my design to the frame, I can just drag it and adjust it to the frame inside of my design. Next, I'm going to search for some elements. I've decided to insert some stars element. So after I'm scrolling around, I found these stars and I would like to insert it into my design. As you can see, it gives me a black colored elements, but I can always change it with the color box, just like how I changed my backgrounds earlier. So I'm changing it to white so that it's not going to blend with my background. And then I'm just going to adjust the size so that it fits nicely. I would like to add some more. And to do that, I just have to click Ctrl C and then Ctrl V so that I don't have to click the elements from the element bar anymore. I make one star smaller than the others, but I can also adjust both of them at the same time by clicking Shift and then click both of the elements and then I can adjust them all together. And here I'm just copying the exact same element, but I would like the elements to be flipped and to do that, I can just go ahead and click on this flip button on the top menu of your screen and choose the flip horizontally. Now the next element that I would like to insert into my designs is a moon. And I've seen the one free elements of a moon that I like over here. So I'm going to go ahead and input it in the middle of my design and then change its color so that it will not once again blend into my background, but it's going to be visible. Next, I would like to add a frame, but not the same frame like the one I used to insert my pictures. But this one are just going to be a decorative frame that are going to surround the design that I already have. So to do that, I'm going to again click on the elements menu and type out frame on the search text box. And this is the frame that I've chosen. I want the frame to be behind the stars element. And to do that, I can just go ahead and click the backward option. After I click the backward option, for some reason, it doesn't work as how I want it to be. So I ended up clicking the two back option, which brings my 
frame all the way to the back and then I click the forward option to bring my frame one step forward. The next thing that I would like to add to my design are some wordings. And for today, instead of creating my text from scratch, I'm going to use the font combination that Canva already made. I ended up choosing this font combination and to spice my designs up a bit, I'm going to add another element, which is a brush stroke element that I'm going to put behind my wording. And here is the result. I ended up adjusting the wording and also the opacity of the brush strokes element. And I would like to add these to the other corner of my design. And instead of repeating the whole process from scratch, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the wordings and also the elements that I've already adjusted and created. Click Ctrl C on my keyboard and then Ctrl V to make the exact replica of those elements. And this is the first designs for my black t-shirt. Now I'm going to continue and design on my second t-shirt. I originally wanted my t-shirt to look as similar as this black one. That's why I clicked all of the elements that I've already inserted into my black t-shirt. And then I click Ctrl C on my keyboard and Ctrl V to copy paste it. But I ended up changing my mind and only use the frame from the first design instead. And here I'm just dragging the second pictures from my second designs into the frame just like how I did with the first design. I ended up going back and take the decorative frame that I put on my first design and put it into my second design. And to match it, I changed the colors of that frame into the available colors on my pictures. And to do that, you can just go ahead and click on that pen symbols under the color bar. And then you can bring the pen into your pictures and just choose on which colors would you like your elements to be. The next step is pretty much the same with the one that I did with my first design. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and I'm going to show you the end design for my second t-shirt. For the second design, I ended up adding some cloud element as well as a wording. Again, I'm using the pre-made font combination and I also add a paper tape element into my design. And here is the final look of my second design. Now that I have finished both of my design, I'm going to go ahead and download this design. And to do that, you can go ahead and click on the share button on the top right of your screen and then click on download. Next, go to printify.com and if you haven't had an account yet, you can go ahead and create one but I already have an account on Printify, so I just logged in. And this is the dashboard of Printify that you're going to see after you log into your account. Once you're here, you can go ahead and click on the catalog over here, and you can see that it has several products that you can put your design into. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on feature products, and click on t-shirt and then I'm just going to choose from the available t-shirts over here. Feel free to choose whichever you would want. For today, I'm just going to choose the first t-shirt that appears on my catalog. And then after I clicked it, I'm going to scroll down and you can see there is a start designing button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And here is where I can insert my design. So these t-shirts actually allows you to design for your front and also your back side of your t-shirt. And to insert the design that you have already created before, you can go ahead and click on my device and then click on the pictures you would want to input into your t-shirt. So the first design that I choose is the one for the black t-shirt. Over here, as you can see, the t-shirts that are available are still white, but I can just change it by clicking on the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and change my t-shirt colors into black so that it will fit better into my design. And then I would like my design to be bigger than it was inputted first. So I'm going to go ahead 
and drag on the tiny dots on the edge of my design. And then I'm going to adjust it so that my design will be on the, the middle or in the center of the t-shirts. Once you're done, you can also see the preview of how your t-shirt will look like in real life. You can see that Printify gives several pictures of people so that you can see how it will look like if people use this design in real life. Now let's try and input the other design. And to do that, I can just go ahead and click Add Design and then repeat the same step just like how I inserted this black t-shirt design into Printify. I ended up overlapping my black t-shirt design into the white one. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the original t-shirts first. And then I'm going to delete the black t-shirts design. And just like how I did with the black t-shirt designs, I'm going to enlarge my white t-shirt designs a little bit. And then I'm going to see the preview to look how it will look like in real life. And this is how my t-shirt will look like if it was worn in real life by real people. Now, once you're satisfied with the design, you can go ahead and click Save Products. And the next thing you will have to do is you can customize the names of your product or the descriptions as well as the pricing. To change or customize each section, you can just go ahead and click on the text box. And to change on the pricing, you can go ahead and click on the price that you would like to change and then type out which price you would like your t-shirts to be. And once you're done with all of the detail, you can go ahead and publish your settings to the store. If you already connect one, if you haven't, you can just connect the store. And then the final things you have to do is to publish it to your store. And that is how you can create design on Canva and then sell it on Printify. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.